Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today we have something different. I introduce you to a new concept where I'm going to talk about your asset packs that I think are worth a look. To start off we have an amazing asset pack by Pixel Cloud. While I'm talking you can see those beautiful pictures that are taken directly from his asset pack. This is one of many assets from him. He is actively working in the UE4 and Unity community. All of his packs are high quality and have a high consumer rating on them. One of these packs is the modular metro station kit from him, which has a lot of stuff you can use in your project. And as you already can see, it is the asset pack we are seeing today. But that's not all. As a special we have today a giveaway, where you can win an Unreal or Unity version of today's asset pack, which is worth more than $400. I'm going to talk more about the giveaway at the end of the video. Now please take a look at the sequencer video which I made from the kit. I think the graphics are amazing. Here we are inside the project. Let me show you now how to add the project to any game you created. For that go to your Epic Games Launcher, go to Unreal Engine and then go to Library and scroll down right to your vault. There are all the assets that you own and if you own the Metro Station Modular Kit then you will find it here under M. Click on Add to Project and it's done. I won't do it here because I already made a project with it. And that's it, here you can see the project. And now let's take a look at the folder structure. When you add the asset to your project, you will get the metro station folder, where everything from the metro station kit is inside. The first folder is the assets folder. Inside the assets folder we have all the meshes, like the train or the lamps or anything else you saw in the video. Next folder is the base elements folder. Here we have all the things like floor and the walls and all the stuff that is necessary for building the metro station. Then we have the blueprints folder. Here are all the assets that are built from more than one mesh or meshes that can do something, like having light or the train with its doors open and closed. Then we have a basic portico here for the smoke that you saw in the video. And in the last folder we have just the example map that I'm currently in. Now let's take a closer look to the map that's inside the metro station kit, which is this one. I opened it already and I added all the meshes and assets and blueprints here to um, the scene so we can go through them later on. You will get here the blank scene without all the meshes out with only those two entrances here where you can go in and explore the scene that Pixel Cloud built for us from his modular station kit and you can just add here everything or just copy and paste it to your project. But before we go through all of the assets here, let me tell you something about the quality of the assets. All the models here are AAA standard and have handmade LODs and perfect UVs. Let me show you a quick example. For that we go into the asset folder and let's take the railway for example. We have always the structure of mesh, materials and textures, so very clean and simple to understand. Go to the mesh and now here 
pick one of these elements. I will pick the railway base here. Some of the meshes have four LOD channels and some of them have two. But what are LODs? LODs are changing basically the LOD base on how far you are from the mesh away. This helps a lot in terms of performance. On default we have the LOD on auto. This means it will automatically switch between LODs. For example, if I scroll out now, you will see the triangles and vertices count will decrease. It's that simple. As you can see, there are details now that we don't need to see anymore, because we are so far away from the mesh, and it will make no difference for the human eye. And this is just one example. All of the meshes here have those LODs. Next, let's talk about the textures. Most of them are in 2K, but some of them are also in 4K available. Pixel Cloud made clean textures and damaged ones. As you can see here inside the textures folder and inside the clean folder. So just pick one of these and pick the same in the clean folder so you can compare them. Here's the clean version and here the rust one. And that's how AAA companies make their assets. Before we now take a closer look at the meshes, let me give you some numbers. There are in total 325 meshes, 143 materials including instances, 776 textures which are all physically based rendered, which is quite nice. Now let's dive into the game and watch the assets. So here we are, I added a third person example. First we have the cables here, and also cables for the roof. Then we have a nice coffee winding machine and also different cans next to it. Then we have all the detail assets that you can attach to the wall or to the ground that make the scene more real life and realistic. Also some of them you can attach to the ceiling. Very important, the wet floor. Next we have some billboards and posters and also fiberglass for the ground. All the meshes have different ads like music band, concerts, films or fast food companies on it. Next we have a lot of pipes that you can attach together or place on the ground. Those that you can see on the ground are able to attach together to build a long pipe. Same goes for them that's standing straight up. Here's the road display and those railway parts to build a long railway. Also we have ticket machines and trash bins next to it. He really thought about everything. And here we have also warning tapes for walls and for the ground. All of them have different text on it. And here at the end we have the water pump and the hose and also two benches. Now let's run to the light. As you can see here, the light is active and it's really working with the environment and with the shadows. Also there are a lot of different types of colors, as you can see here. Now let's fly to the trains. First let me move this a bit to the right. And then let's fly into the first train. Detail here is very accurate. This one here has a driver's seat in the front of the train. As you can see here, again with a lot of details. The second train is without seats, so you can attach them behind the other train. Really good work on the benches there. Now let's move the camera a bit faster and go out here so that you can see the train from the outside. This one here has no front lights as you will see here in the front, but the other one has front lights. Last but not least we have the base elements. Floor tiles, the metro entrances, 
can also see the metal columns and the metal beams. Then we have the, the gate and the stairs, also the ceilings and the walls. Everything you can see here is fully modular, so you can attach all the things together and build upon it. The railings here at the end, so you can see them, and here in the background the doors and the beams. Also fully modular and you can build with it a big metro station or a small one. And here are the last parts for the roof. That's it for the base elements. Now let's show you a quick example for the blueprints at last. So here we have all the blueprints, so you can just pull it in and then you can click on the blueprint. And then inside here you have all the meshes that are part of it. So you can now click for example on the door and just rotate it. So you have open and close mechanism. For the light you just pull it in. Click here on the rectangle light. And then under here under the color settings you can change the light. So you can make it a bit more greenish or bluish or whatever you want. And you can of course pick the radius and can say where the source height is so it goes up here so you can play with those values but I think the settings here set are quite nice and that's all for the asset pack the last thing we have to do is the giveaway of course so here you have the example giveaway I made one for the annual engine metro station and I made one for the Unity Metro Station. You will find the links inside the video description. For both kits we have two winners. You can enter here with your email address. After you entered your email and confirmed it, you can earn points to hire your chance to win the kit. After 14 days, Kingsumo will automatically pick two winners for both kits. Then we will send you the codes or we ask the support to add the kit to your account. Thanks again to Pixel Cloud who made this all work and thanks for your time. Have a nice day and bye.